Hey, we're here with Truck and Trailer Tuesday on Tractor Time with Tim. Tim. Can you say that? Truck and Trailer Tuesday with Tractor Time with Tim. Something like that, yeah. I won't try it 10 times, though. <laughs> That's pretty good, Dave. Um, now, the reason we're setting aside this episode to talk about Truck and Trailer Tuesday is because I think Dave's trailer, well, it's extra nice, and it's a unique trailer that's a perfect fit for your situation. Yeah. So let's talk about it. Tell me about this trailer. Well, we got it in order to haul our 1025R around yeah. and be able to accommodate attachments. And we wanted something that was long enough to do that as well as be able to house, you know, our straps and... and How long is it? It's 18 feet it's total. 18 it's 18 feet. It's, it's what they call 16 plus 2. Yeah, okay, you know, I noticed it's got a dovetail dove. on the back side yeah. of it. Uh -huh. That makes your ramps really short. It does. It helps a lot with those. A lot, there's a lot less weight to pick up and move those around. Now, the, the first thing you notice from a distance, and, well, maybe you don't notice it, but this is an aluminum trailer. Yes. And that's the magic here. Notice that Dave doesn't have it on an F-250 or F-350. Do you know yeah. the towing capacity of your vehicle? It, it, it's probably less than what the trailer will handle. <laughs> but so, is, it, is it less uh, than what you're putting, you know, your, your what total I'm putting towing? on it? No, what I'm putting on it, it just does match out for Do you know that, the empty weight of the trailer? Um, about 15... 1,700 pounds, something like that. Yeah, and uh, so. a steel trailer will be in, uh, of the same size will be in the 3,000, maybe 3,200 range, maybe even yeah. more. And that makes a huge difference when you, you know, that's just your empty weight. That, you know, that's what allows you to pull it with a rig like this. We started the same yeah. way. Our first trailer was an aluminum trailer, and we yeah. had a little Toyota Tacoma at the time. And yeah, yeah, we, we, we needed to to maximize our, our payload capacity and minimize it. Now, it's a little more expensive. Right, it is. Tell me about the toolbox. Well, the toolbox is actually a side toolbox for a pickup truck. Oh, really? That's not a trailer toolbox then? No, it's not. It, it's made where you would have a box across the front of the, the bed and then a couple of these down the side. So of it the, sets of the kind of inside the, the, the ledge of the, or the, yeah. the railing of the and, truck. And then this part would set on the upper edge of the, the okay. bed of the truck. And you've set a couple of a two by four or two by six and a, another little shim under there. Yeah, just, just to space it up. How'd so you fasten it? it it's, it's fastened one into the boards with lag bolts. And then I've, I've gotten some st stainless steel U bolts and fasten it to the front also, so okay. it's fastened front and bottom, so it's very sturdy. How much sturdy. a box like this cost? Oh, 120 or something like that. It wasn't. I mean, it looks so classy. Expensive. This really looks, and it looks like it matches the trailer. It yeah. It looks like it was factory. What what kind of stuff do you store in it? Mostly my tie down straps. You got hey got cargo buckles. Cargo buckles. Hey, you can and get those at amazoncom shop tractor time Tim. The reason we like the cargo buckles is the auto oh. retraction. Oh yeah, because that stretches out and goes right back in. So much nicer than trying to fool with one of these fellas. Yeah. As you can see, we've just kind of thrown it in there for now. But yeah. And me and my OCD will tidy that up later. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cargo buckles, you know, they, they are tidy uh, uh -huh. on their own. Exactly. Now, if you've got anything much larger than a, a large two series, they don't have that much capability, right? Limit. Working load limit of 1166 pounds. And then I think the braking strength is like triple that, but- uh, Yeah, something. Yeah, uh, and, and I see yours have the, the little pigtail on it here. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get that on ours. We, we didn't at first and I, I decided that was a, a good way to fasten them on. So yeah. I, found, I found the, yeah. the extra it pieces. Nice. And, we, and we manually put chains on ours, it. went and bought it all. Hey, back to the trailer, I see uh, some uh, embedded D-rings. For certain applications, I'm sure those are going to be handy. For my application, they don't work out so well. Okay. But Is may, it just location? Yeah, because I, I will have the bucket setting here and, and then the tractor back behind. And then the bucket is in the way of strapping the tractor down to these. Yeah. So I end up using the side. The stakeholders. The stakeholders, yeah, to fasten yeah. them down. Yeah, I do the same thing. I think if I were to advise a viewer, I would say either get more D-rings 
or just plan on using the stakeholders. Yeah. Uh, I actually think more D-rings would be the answer. I'd like to have more frequent yeah. along the side. About a, every two or three feet would give you now, a lot of versatility. What's the weight rating of the trailer, the GVWR? 7,000. 7,000 total. So and you could haul 5,500 pounds of payload with this thing. Yeah. That's really nice. Now I see a feature here I don't see very often at all. This is removable. It is. So you, I suppose if you're hauling something really wide or really low, you could take this fender off. And, that's and the, gain yourself a, a couple of inches, both in width and a few inches in height, okay. actually. Okay. Now what do we have here? That's a cover to go over where the the, the ramps Oh, okay. Store. So the ramps go right in here. Yeah. And once, once those are in, this slides into a little bracket and goes over a post to... Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's, that's a, a better locking story. mechanism than I had on my trip. I had the side ramps. What do you think of yours? I like them. Yeah? Yeah, I like them really well. I haven't since this is fairly new, I haven't used it a whole lot, but they they I've not had any problem going up and down with them or anything. They are heavy enough to hold the tractor, light enough for me to carry. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the difference because mm -hmm. I didn't have the dovetail. My ramps were maybe two feet longer and so they had to be built heavier because yeah. of that um, so i think your lightweight ramps are fine i didn't like carrying my heavy ramps around to the side and i had to stack mine one yeah. on top of each other and and it, and, it was the yeah, that, primary reason i got rid of the trailer but these are these are nice nice it, ramps it's short. a handy setup I, I like it really well now do you use these i have not to this point um, if I were to really max out the load capacity, I think I would probably need those for yeah. for loading. So yeah. as it's coming over that hump, because I do notice when I drive the tractor over there, the back end of the vehicle comes up a good little bit. <laughs> exactly. It's really nice to have those on there. Yeah. So this is a good view of the ramp here. It looks like it can go all the way across. Yeah, wherever you need it to, to what, fit. What does it weigh? I don't know, that's probably, probably 35, 40 pounds maybe? Somewhere in there. That's not bad at all. And it's doubly reinforced there at the, the point that I've had some, some trouble with my steel ramps. Yeah. Um, so you've got double reinforcement there. Now I see that it's got, uh, it looks like regular treated 2x8 flooring. Did yeah. you consider going with an aluminum floor? I really didn't. Uh, um, there's no particular reason why. I think availability was a lot of it. Had I gone with a a steel one, I had a little bit more preference towards a metal deck, and I, I just uh, don't know why that is. I guess really, but <laughs> yeah, because um, the the one thing about the metal decks is it's solid, and you don't have to worry about boards rotting and replacing them later. Um, and actually, steel you know could rust, which is kind of why I ended up going with an aluminum to begin with. So, okay. So it, it my number one reason would have been weight. That's yeah. what I would have been trying to save with aluminum, my aluminum trailer. Yeah. It's got a rub rail on the side. Why did you want a rub rail? If nothing else, me and being clumsy, I'd, I'd be banging into those stake, those, those, those stake pockets all the time with my knees and chins if yeah. I didn't have that. You know, it also gives me a place where I could could uh, grab hold of or strap something lightweight down. I wouldn't want to yeah. use it for heavyweight yeah. stuff. But, yeah, yeah. But it's a... It I like gives the look. a little flexibility. I like the look. I, I just it's more finished to me than yeah. those stake pockets sticking it's out. It's a nice there, clean so, look. It is. So I really like that. Now, Dave, this is I believe it's a low profile trailer, but with that dovetail, it it really reduces the load angle. Right, makes it a lot easier, especially for the compact subcompact tractors like the 1025R, to get it up without your attachments dragging on yeah, the back. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just can't much. pick up the attachment very high and you tip the front end of that tractor up and the attachment drags. Well, you try to back on, you have the same problem. It doesn't really matter. And yeah. that's a big, well, how does it pull? Does it, does it pull nicely with your SUV? You wouldn't even know it was back there. Really? Yeah, really. If I didn't look in the mirror and see the headlights from the tractor staring at me once in a while, I'd forget it's back there. I know, because some tra tra trailers will waver around a little bit. Weave a little and, bit. And this one just tracks right on down the road like nothing. Okay, Christy, hmm. you, you distract he and Sally and we'll swap out the trailer. <laughs> 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 well, gee, the, the spare here, I, that's not a typical place for the spare tire. No, it's not. Usually they have some add-on bracket that fastens on the side. 
to hold the tire and they might have an option for a toolbox or something up there. Yeah. But yep. this one came welded with a bracket and a flange to set the tire right down on and bolt it down. And it makes perfect sense. Uh, I don't like my tire up on the side because I can't reach, you know, reach into the trailer for pallets with yeah. my forks from either side. Mm -hmm. I have to always work from one side. Yeah. This is a, a good solution. And, and the cover gives it a little uh, personality. <laughs> Roughly, do you remember how much it cost? What, what do you have to pay for a trailer like this? This one was right at about 5000 Okay. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we've explained that in, in the past, you can get trailers down near $2,000 for a 16-foot, 7,000-pound trailer yeah. that'll get the job done. But by going with uh, an aluminum trailer with the shorter, handier ramps, uh, all these additional options we talk about, you can have something that may be a lot easier to work with. Right. It might not cost you a new towing vehicle. So in the truth, it may have actually saved you money. Yeah. Um, of course, you'd like to have a truck. That would be nice. Yeah, trucks are One pretty nice. One of these nice. days. <laughs> you should have bought a big, heavy steel trailer, and then you'd have had to tell the finance committee, well, I have to have a truck. I mean, come I on, I need Dave. one, then. I, yeah. I, I, maybe I wasn't thinking of <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, if you have any questions about this trailer, um, leave them in the comments section below. Dave will be happy to answer them, and uh, I can if I, if, if I can answer them, I'd be happy to as well. The reason I wanted to show this is because I think it's a perfect match for a 1025R and an SUV or a small pickup truck. You can get the job done with this. You spend a little bit more on the trailer, but you can keep your existing vehicle. I think you did well. Thank you. I think it'll look nicer a lot longer than what a metal one would, too. You get into rust problems over time. And you can take these to the truck wash. Yep. And you can get them acid washed, and they look like new after even oh, really? 5, 10, <laughs> 8 years. It's, it's pretty amazing. We took ours wow. through the truck wash, and it was right before we sold it. And after we did that, we're like, well, hold it. I don't want to get rid of this. It looks so nice. Got now. a new one again. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Dave, thank you for showing us around. Sure thing. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim.